Okay, here we have the Vermatic Pest Control. So this is um, one of these UV lamp units with an electric mesh behind to capture and trap and kill uh, flying insects. Um, it does this pretty well. So we've had this for a week or so. I've cleaned out all the uh, moths and insects that we've collected and I'll show you um, how I best do that. There is actually an included brush, but we'll go through that in a minute. Um, this unit is about 20, 25 centimeters tall. It's about 20 centimeters wide at the fattest part of the base. I'm going to tilt it forward. It has a, got a flat back. Can be wall mounted in, in that there's a hanging hook point. Um, but we have it sitting on the floor. Actually, we find um, the top of the landing and the stairs uh, covering and protecting most of the bedrooms upstairs, the, uh, a, a, an ideal location for us. This uh, is a uh, mains powered unit. So um, although it's quote portable because it's not, uh, doesn't have to be wall mounted, etc. It is just a 1.5 meter long uh, power lead fitted with a three amp fuse. I'm just gonna plug the unit in now just so you can see the, uh, the light illuminates. So immediately the lamp is on. This has got quite a neat feature in that there's actually a switch on the side, but this switch is not for the light. So it's actually currently in the off mode. It's actually for a little internal fan, which helps draw air into the unit and therefore the lighter smaller kind of insects that might be just buzzing around the lamp so i'm going to just turn it on now it's not the, not the noisiest of motors but it's neither the neither is it silent okay and as you can hear i'm not having to raise my voice or anything but there is a background hum so not necessarily uh, in the bedroom with the fan on uh, if you want a quiet bedroom but certainly on top of the landing it, uh, it really does have uh, the effect, the added effect of getting the really small uh, insects and mosquitoes and midges etc to be drawn in. Certainly my hand, the hairs on the back of my hand, I can feel the draft from about 8, maybe 10 inches from the actual uh, plastic front grill here. And uh, certainly it has uh, the added benefit of being able to draw more insects into the unit and uh, therefore makes it a, it's a better killer for that reason. I'll just turn the fan unit off now. So as you can see, the lights on all the time. So therefore you could perhaps, for example, put this unit on a timer. So it comes on uh, dawn to dusk timer perhaps. So when it's dark, this could come on to um, help clear your uh, upstairs floor, etc., in the bedroom, or maybe have one upstairs and downstairs. It does come with a brush to clean. I'm gonna just unplug the unit and turn it around there to show you how you actually get the majority of the bugs out. So there's actually a removable tray around the back. So I'm now turning it around 360 and you can actually see here the grill for the fan as well that was on earlier but this little box affair here there's a little slot here that you pull your fingers underneath and as I said I've already cleaned this unit out again after having used it for a couple of weeks and in there there's a there's a little tray it's just about a centimeter deep and uh, it's quite a decent sized tray and most of your bugs etc moths and mosquitoes etc lace wings will all be in there um, the brush have a, uh, it's necessary to have a brush because um, although this fan unit doesn't uh, get at all dirty or dusty, you'll find that some of the bugs, some of the moths especially, do actually stick to the electric grill. So they're all powered off, teasing the brush through the black grate and then onto the electric mesh is something you need to do occasionally. So as you can see, it's quite straightforward. It's a good length brush and it does the job very well. You can also remove the black cover if you uh, first use a screwdriver so this clip here is first protected by a screw but you can take that out and then this just unclicks and this black mesh comes out that's quite a good safety feature if you've got young children in the house etc that are uh, also drawn to the light like moths but if you haven't got any children in your house or they're old enough to do as they're told then absolutely you can leave this screw lit left out and this clip holds the the front plastic grill on no problem at all so um, all in all, um, it's certainly better than other cheaper models that I've bought in the past. Uh, the fan unit does seem to help with the very small insects. It doesn't seem to make a difference at all to the moths. This gets plenty of moths anyway. Um, certainly within a couple of weeks of use, week to two weeks worth of use, that black tray needed emptying. So it all depends on how many insects you've got. So that's not a measure of how big or small the tray is. That's a measure of how many insects we're having. Certainly it captures loads. Um, this cost me about £25 here in the UK. I'd imagine that's 30 35 dollars uh, or 30 35 euros uh, if you're buying it um, outside of the UK. It has on the box, it says here, range 
25 square meters. Um, like I say, we've got it covering the whole of the upper floor of a, of a three bed house, of a sort of average typical size UK house, and, and it does a reasonable job. Is it going to attract every insect out of every room? Well, it all depends on how well you leave your doors open, how often you leave doors open, and whether the only lights on the upstairs floor are the, is the light coming from this unit. But certainly we found that this bulb, pretty good, pretty clear, it's rated for quite a few thousand hours, which is uh, which is reassuring. So you do get a little leaflets, etc., with the unit. It does explain you how to change the bulb, etc. The lamp life, there we go. It says 8,000 hours. So um, pretty nice, uh, reassuring amount of time that because you're going to leave it on uh, during the summer months, etc., um, for most of the night. So it's going to be on for perhaps eight to ten hours a night. So 8,000 hours gives you a reassuring uh, number of. Of nights, so there's a good thousand uh, summer nights there, which is quite a few years. So I'm not expecting to have to replace that bulb for a good three to five years, which is also reassuring. But they do sell, and you can readily get that bulb online. I'm probably going to give myself a spare just so I've got one. Um, I don't know if it's particularly difficult to get. It is a UV lamp, um, so this blue light that it's giving off, uh, it, it is a, it does have a, enough of the blue wave wavelength light to attract the insects to it. And all in all, very nice cable. We actually have it very close to a wall socket. Like I say, we seat this on the floor. We don't warm out this, but you can. Um, the only one thing I'm going to give you a pointer on is, I'm going to unplug this again actually, the tray that's on the back. Absolutely brilliant. Of course, it needs to, it needs to be able to come out, but you've got to be very careful when you pick it up because it actually slides out rather easily. So that was just me tapping in it. So any vibration, this falls out quite straightforward. So possibly even a little bit of tape on this, just so that uh, when you pick it up, you don't accidentally if you're just picking it up like this, you're going to have no problems because it angles forward. But if you pick it up and you accidentally have it off the horizontal, this could fall out and you do not want dead moths absolutely all over your carpet. So a little tip from me, you've got this unit, a little bit of tape, or be very careful when picking up and hold this in until you get outside or over a bin when you want to tip out the, uh, the dead bugs, etc. And uh, that will save you having any unnecessary accident. This little grill fan does also, this grill unit over the fan does come off as well. So I'm just going to quickly remove it. Um, if you do need to dust or blow anything out of there, but I've not found any of the insects get that far through. They pretty much die on the uh, the way through the, the wire mesh as they're planned, and they drop down into the uh, bottom catchment tray. So, good unit, recommended. It's better than many other cheaper units that I've bought for maybe £10, £15, pound, and um, I think the added feature of the fan, especially if you're played with these little midges or bugs, uh, really good really good at moths, really good at flutterflies, etc. So all those kind of things uh, is capturing without any effort at all and uh, does it in a, in a in a pretty good safe solid environment. This is, this is not uh, a weak case at all, it's very sturdy and uh, uh, nicely housed. It doesn't look too unattractive, it's a kind of, in case you can't see the colour, it's a kind of silver and a, a matte black large grill on the front. Not, not particularly ugly at, at all considering uh, the job it does.